Hey everybody, how you doing tonight? Good. Well, I'm, I'm 48 now, and I, I noticed things started changing a little bit around the age of 45. You know, like when I had conversations with my friends before, they were about football or what you were doing at work, and now they're about uh, medical test injuries and how you're in trouble so you do your knee sleep apnea machine. <laughs> but, but it's really strange. A lot of strange things happen. One thing that's weird is guys around 45 start giving driving directions even when it's completely unnecessary nowadays. Yeah, for example, when you leave the parking lot here, I would never tell you this, but when you leave the parking lot here, you got to make a right at the Rio Salado to get up to Priest. And when you get up to Priest, make a right to get on the 202 to hit I-10. But sometimes there's a lot of traffic, so you have to get on 32nd Street to get all the way to Camelback and hit over the 50. I would never tell you guys that. <laughs> so I travel a lot, and you know, one thing I really hate is when you're sitting next to somebody and they bring smelly food on the plane. I was sitting next to a guy the other day who had corn nuts. He didn't have any food, he just had corn nuts. <laughs> I guess this joke isn't about food after all. <laughs> I was uh, getting on the plane for a really long flight the other day as well, a different flight, and uh, I was worried about who I'd be sitting next to, and maybe they would have uh, smelly food, or maybe they would do something to make me feel uncomfortable. So when I got to my seat, I looked down, and it was a priest in the full collar and everything. So now I was worried about whether he would be comfortable. Yeah, so when I sat down, I just put my hand on his thigh, and I caught this rug right there. <laughs> So I just came back from Brazil, and Rio is a really beautiful city, except for the parts of town where they want to kidnap you, murder you, or rape you. But they do have topless beaches, which I thought would be fantastic because it's the number one country in the world for both uh, plastic surgery and bulimia. The problem is, it's true, the problem is everybody's topless. The kids are topless, the moms are topless, the grandmothers are topless. Even guys who should be keeping their shirts on are topless. Look, I'm a big fan of boobs, but if they're hanging down to your waist, you do not need a full coverage tan. <laughs> yeah, next vacation I'm gonna go to Saudi Arabia where they're covered from head to toe. <laughs> now I did read that the National Institute of Mental Health estimated that 26.2% of the population is crazy. That pissed me off so much I wanted to rip my clothes off and run through the streets naked and take a machine gun to all those guys for saying that about Americans. <laughs> Instead, I think I'm just going to run for Congress. <laughs> and that would be the time to take my clothes off and run through the streets naked and take a machine gun to those guys. But what really makes me mad is when people listen to celebrities instead of experts. For one thing, people are not immunizing their kids nowadays because 1993, Playmate of the Year, Jenny McCarthy, said it was a bad idea. Didn't Jenny McCarthy look in the mirror one day and say to herself, you know, if I have a kid, it's probably going to be stupid. <laughs> she obviously didn't watch any of her MTV videos. <laughs> you know, she even started a movie called The Stupids. It's not autism, it's because the kid came out of her loins. She could hump Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking in a three-way and the kid would still turn out to be a doofus. It's because of her she's stupid. I would call her retarded, but she wouldn't understand that word. She's just too stupid. So my dad is 92 now, and he doesn't remember things so well anymore, like when to take his medicine, or his name, or whether to put his pants on. And when people get that old, they really don't care about crack. Well, except for crack, they care a lot about crack. It's really hard to have a conversation with them. If I ask him, hey, Dad, how you doing? He says, I pooped. <laughs> hey, did you see the game? Uh, we're out of toilet paper. <laughs> hey, what'd you have for lunch? I don't know, but when it came out, it was chunky. <laughs> That's my son's favorite joke. <laughs> yeah. Um, I uh, knew he needed to be in assisted living though, because he started trying to do weird things like light the electric stove with a match, and he got confused between the toilet and his lazy boy. <laughs> but then the last straw was when he gave my credit card number to a telemarketer. Yeah, yeah, but now he's in assisted living and there's 20 women for every guy, which is great, but these women are vultures. He complains all the time about them wanting to have their way with him. Yeah, I wish that was a joke. I was there the other day, and one of them was bothering him, and finally, you know, he got mad, and he said, look, 
I can't do anything. I had my prostate out 15 years ago. And she looked him right in the eye and said, yeah, but your tongue still works, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs>